Hello again everyone, welcome back to Questing Beast. It's been a little while since I've made a video, but I've had some requests to uh, make a video on how to draw forests. Now I know for myself at least, and I know for other people as well, forests are one of the trickiest things to draw. It's, it's difficult to get them to look right. They often look um, smudgy or amateurish. They often don't fit in with the rest of our um, the rest of the aesthetic of the map that we're building, it can be a problem. They can look too spread out, they can not look dense enough, they can look too big or too small. So I'm going to show a couple of different ways that I've seen uh, people draw maps, um, especially uh, forests on maps specifically. And uh, you can choose one that you think works for you. I'll show you my favorite as well. So I'll give you some examples. So one example is simply to draw um, each individual tree, right? I've seen some people do this, and uh, depending on the kind of map you're doing, this can work or it might not work. Of course, the downside of drawing tree, uh, forests this way is that drawing each individual tree is pretty time-consuming. Now. If you're doing, um, if you're creating your map digitally, this of course will be a lot faster. Um, you can do it. It creates its own unique effect. It looks a little bit um, old timey, I suppose. A little bit more. Uh, it has more of an, an antique effect, I think. It really depends on the look you're going for and how much time you have. Of course, you can add a little bit of texture to these trees. etc. You get the idea. So you can draw a forest that way, but it'll just take you a while. Another example is the way that I've drawn forests for a while now. It's I'm not crazy about it. I'm sort of changing my techniques, but this is an old way I used to draw forests. I drew them this way for a long time. I would have, I would just sort of delineate the edges of my forest. And then I would just draw these kind of tr triangles and bumps within the forest to show the tops of trees poking out, etc. I wouldn't usually have this bottom line here. I would just continue drawing like this, which I felt like my forest was the right size. And I would add little tree trunks along the bottom like this. Any place that was exposed. That can work all right. It doesn't look fantastic to me. It looks a little bit more like a forest. It's a little bit faster. But it's, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Um, this also makes the boundaries of your forest a little bit suspect. Where exactly does it start and end? Um, it's not as precise. It depends on the, the precision that you want in your map and the kind of map that you're making. So here's another example. Um, I've seen some people, instead of drawing their forests very close together like this, instead they spread them out a bit. So they still draw individual trees, but they simply spread them out. And they vary the kind of tree they're drawing. So you've got like, these sort of round trees. You've got shorter pine trees. You got like these large sort of oak trees. Just spread around like this. This looks a lot less dense than a lot of other forests that you could draw. It looks more like, I don't know, a loose wood or something like that. You can, of course, use this to draw a large dense forest, uh, but it'll just give the impression of the trees being farther apart. Get the idea. So it depends on the, the look that you're going for. 
or the way I've seen people draw um, forests, is that you're looking straight down and they kind of draw the tops of the forest. They draw circles, like so. Varying the size of the circles. Now, again, this gives the impression that you can see each individual tree, even though it's from a different angle. So it'll make the forest uh, seem smaller. You can do that if you want. Um, it doesn't have a great effect to me. It looked like maybe stones or mushrooms, so I'm not crazy about that effect either. Um, another way, and this is a way that I prefer, is if you simply delineate the edges of your forest using kind of a rough, bumpy look. For example. Like that. Now you can simply leave it like that. Um, that reads pretty well as a forest to me because of the sort of bushy exterior. I think you can simply name it, you know. Something like that. Make it clear that it's a forest. But you can also add more details to it. So, for example, draw another one over here. You can add around the edges little details. That indicate more of the leafiness of the forest. I think that has a nice effect. You can do other things as well. You can do things like adding some shading that the sun is shining from this direction, so it leaves kind of a shadow on the side of the forest. Add some shading on the trees as well. Some details on the inside. And it'll look fairly um, bushy, fluffy, leafy, um, which is what you want. Um, preferably want to be a little bit three-dimensional. That's fairly flat. And if you have a map that's just more precise and flat, that'll work better. If you want a little bit more um, texture and a little bit more flavor, this can work a little bit better. Make sure to make the exterior of it pretty dark, though. That'll really help. Okay. You can also um, mix these up a little bit so that if we have another forest using this fairly simple just outlined structure, I'm doing this fairly quickly. In real life I'd probably do it a bit slower to make it look a little bit leafy around the edges. You can simply create little indications of especially tall trees poking out and make them fairly spare for fairly uh, few and far between. Not too many. And then maybe add a little bit of indication of tree trunks around the bottom. And 
That can work all right too. One last way is a bit of a variation on this one. And again, you're trying to show each individual tree, but instead of drawing circles, which end up looking a little bit strange, just make them a bit fluffy. So you're adding these little layers or overlapping tree shapes as shown from above. And this can look a lot better, but again, it'll make your forest look um, smaller. It'll look like you're zoomed in farther because you can see each individual tree like this. That can work too. Suppose if you're making a map of a, a village or something like that, then you may want an effect like this. Oh, and one last way. So fit it in down here. If you're, um, again, if you're zoomed in close and you want to show uh, the trees more three dimensionally, um, you can sort of have the edge of your forest, again, be tree trunks, but have the forest kind of slope up into higher and higher trees. like so. So you have like a meadow out here, and then you have like these tree trunks, and then you have these large bushy shapes sloping up and, and uh, higher and away as the trees rise. You can add more detail like this. a bit of shadow coming down away from the forest. So this area would be the forest. You can always add more detail, you can add more texture, more shading to these large shapes that are moving up, up, and away. Then it depend on how far you wanted, how far back you wanted to go. This would be a forest at much closer range. Great to have some pine trees sticking out periodically. So they're almost like waves of trees that are overlapping one another. That has a nice effect, I think. That has, uh, it looks very much like a forest. It looks deep, thick, and dark, but it's uh, difficult to pull off unless you are want your map to be zoomed in farther. Um, effects like this tend to look farther away. I suppose you could try and do this effect, um, but draw it smaller. Uh, that might work okay. So for example, something like this. Like these mounds and shapes representing the main tree lines. And forest. You can just have it slip all the way down to the ground if you wanted to and avoid having the tree trunks entirely. It's harder to delineate the exact edge of the forest this way. It's a little bit, um, a little bit fuzzier. You simply have something like that be a forest. That could work too, depending on the look that you're going for. You can always add more definition by adding tree trunks. Something like that. So there's a variety of uh, methods you can go about it. I tend to recommend using one of these. These tend to look the best. Um, I've seen these used by others, and they can work, but they tend to be more uh, labor intensive, and I don't think they look as good for the most part, but it's a matter of taste. So I um, hope this is useful for you. Have fun drawing maps, 
and I'll see you next time.